Alrighty, now we're looking at our rear seat removal. No tools for that. If you have heated seats in the rear, you will need to disconnect that wiring harness if you want to fully remove the entire bench. Really, the only thing that's keeping the bench in place, two clips, one on the passenger side, mirrored on the driver's side. It's kind of a weird design where you can try to use a flathead screwdriver. Essentially, you have a receiving clip and then a mail clip, and you really need to push mail clip in, and then that allows the bench seat to come out. So it's the only hard structure that you can feel really easy is if you just get your hands in. You can pull up to lift, and then I like to use my thumb because it's easiest dexterity-wise to actually push that clip. So I'm just feeling for like a hard surface there, so that's the base of the clip. Now I need to push towards the driver's side until I could feel some release, or rather kind of a spring action, then fully push that spring to the driver's side while simultaneously lifting up on the corner of the bench. So depressing spring, pulling up, gonna really push it in, there we go. Now I'll do it on the other side and I'll show you what they both look like. And that's why I wear gloves. Oh, pole star. Blood, sweat, and tears. Okay, without getting blood standing on the Napa, go and lift everything up. And there you go, full access to the bench. You can kind of pull it out, and then you'll have the wiring for the heated seats. What I want to show you here, though, is the actual mechanism to release those seats. Let's just jam a foot in there. Okay. This is what you're pushing on. That is the spring action I need to do on both sides, which then allows. That's where it notches in, that then shifts everything over and allows it to be free. So you really need to jam that in on both sides while lifting up. Now that we have this, you can see in the factory, they do that hot extruded bitumen to prevent resonance. I also added some CLD layers there just as butyl. And then they also have kind of a recycled jute almost material. Come on. There you go. To absorb a little bit. And that's really not doing much at all though. And then of course a very thick one contiguous piece of foam that's for support what they're sitting on also for some vibration absorption but really not going to do a whole lot there so you can certainly add you know CLD layer uh, that'll probably be the best you could also then do neoprene for decoupling and even mass load vinyl layer if you want it's really dealer's choice on that front uh, this is where the carpet actually ends for the rear, held in by that clip, 